Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, we have a, another question for you. The title of this video is I listen to music and I don't know what to do. Dot, 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 dot. So it's a bit of a cliche, um, it's a bit of an important one and I feel like we need to address it to people because it's important. As we all know, listening to music is haram. I know in the day and age, We've nowadays, um, stuff like that, we do get carried away with this dunya and we do listen to music. So what I could say is the best we could do is try to avoid that as possible or maybe if you listen to too much music, decrease it. If you're a person that listens to music, then by all means, maybe this, inshallah, this Ramadan, you can get your iman stronger and hopefully you can stop listening to music or by all means decrease it, inshallah. So this video is related to that, so. Right now I am really stressed and worried. My parents are very religious and kicked me out my house just because I constantly listen to music. Well, they have warned me before that they would kick me out and I, don't, I didn't think they were serious. I have nowhere to live. I am going back and forth to different cousins to live with them. My cousins also don't want me around and I also have no money right now. What should I do? Should I go back to my parents even though they do not want me back? Please can you keep this anonymous? Thank you. Wow, that's deep. That's man. deep. Basically, if your parents... I'm going to give you advice because I've read this email before. But basically, if your parents are advising you and they're kicking you out, it clearly shows they're trying to protect you. And in, in Islam, if you're a Muslim, then in Islam, we know that music is haram. It's written in the Quran. It's written in... Like, everyone knows that music is haram. But I know nowadays we do get carried away, astaghfirullah, but we need to mm. help each other and we need to protect that because music is haram. And if your parents are coming to the extent where they're actually kicking you out, it's clearly showing you something, something serious, you know, because... Yeah. Maybe they feel like that you've changed or maybe they feel like you're getting too influenced by the whole music industry, etc. And you're turning into a completely different person. So the fact that they're doing that is clearly showing you something. And it's a really easy advice for me from my side. I would just say stop listening to music or if you are, if you can't, then decrease it by all means. But if, they, if they're actually coming to an extent where they're actually kicking you out, then it's something dangerous and they've seen something different in you. So please, please, please mm. get back to your house. And try to change, at least for your parents, even if you don't want to change for yourself, but at least try and change because clearly something's not working. It's clearly that you've changed and something's not going on, right going on. So that's my advice. Don't be. That's yours. Don't be. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, everybody listens to music and it is, it is wrong, but what we all need to do is like look back at it and try to try as try to avoid as much as we can to listen to music like we hardly listen to music we won't say we don't listen to music i'm not gonna lie to you guys but we cut down so much in terms yeah. of listening to music like from back what in the we days, before i used to listen to like i could say back in like maybe college school i used to listen to ton yeah ton 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 and then i've just stopped i stopped myself like i didn't listen to music for like a month and i month mean in terms month. of stopping yourself you have to just it's that like um exactly no, it's, it's you have to do it from yourself you have to want to do it Can't it's all in there it's all in there just tell you tell yourself like there's no, alternatives this is wrong, this is if you don't want to, if you want to listen to something yeah there's if, so many listen think, to but it's not music if you think your ears need to listen to something just put a nasheed on or put like a quran on on the youtube or whatever just put down instead of music and obviously once you listen to it you're going to get into it and then get more habit of listening to it and that way you really and then your music the level is going to go down that yeah. way and uh, why, what, what I say to you is obviously just be strong to try to stay away from music for, like and go back to your parents obviously they're doing it for the right cause they care about you they don't want you to get guna and they, they're looking after themselves as well as you in terms of what Allah will ask them they're definitely caring for you like if they didn't care for you they wouldn't kick you out end of the day parents will always tell you now we realize that parents will always tell you because they have to answer to Allah on the day of judgment and they won't, don't want you to be in going to jah uh, Jahannam um, obviously on the day of judgment so they're trying to do both sides you know they're not just thinking about themselves they're thinking about you as well so you yeah. don't think it that way and just avoid try listen to it just delete all the music on your phone if you have an iPod delete everything fill it with nasheeds and like um, Quran verses and things like that and just force yourself you'll to feel listen a lot to better, it trust and me. trust me you feel a lot better and I feel like just... music is it's like so much anger in it and it's so much yeah. hate a lot of people say like music is so good it makes you feel good for some people it does but for some people like for me personally when I used to listen to music I used to always be angry and I never knew why and then you, until yeah. I stopped listening to music completely I felt a lot more happy and content and people said to me that you've changed but I've 
never realized I was like that but you think music makes you happy but if you compare it to how Quran will make you feel it will two different things yeah so like music they have so much lyrics are like so violent and this words that and this like they teach people they teach young people and they teach other people like wrong stuff to be okay to or get angry at this person or to say this kind of word to certain people it's all about breakup and, and love and, and like, like it's just in a way, is, rapping is the worst because rapping is just cursing people mm. and that's what they do, is just teaching other people young kids and all they're trying to rap and they're cursing other people and just, your mom was this, your mom was this come, come on man, <laughs> you don't be teaching kids like that I mean, try, try, try your best to stay away from it and do what we do, like just delete all the music and just, if you need to listen to something put the sheets of Quran on and just once you get into it, when you listen to it, your mind is going to be like, oh, this is nice, peaceful. Or if you, you know like, I mean? literally, like, miss music a lot, maybe, like, I don't want to say to you to listen to music, because that would be wrong on my side, but if you personally cannot live without it, then maybe you should decrease it, or yeah. maybe listen to maybe it's one. It's step by step. It's, it won't it be. It's step by step. Yeah, it's it won't be, like, yeah, but try to slow it down, like, don't, if your parents tell you to stop, don't listen to music at that point, stop. Because like, they're doing it for their own just, sake. Just stop at that point. Because you know they, I mean? they wouldn't kick you out if, like, listen, I've never heard this story before. Yeah, that's, some, I've never come across I've this, never like, come across this story where someone's parents actually kick them out for listening to music. So that indicates that something you're doing is really, really bad. That means they've seen a difference in you. Yeah. If they've seen a difference in you, then by all means, you, sh you need to stop ASAP. Yeah. Because as we know, there's loads of stories out there with music. I'm not going to go in depth about it, but we all know in Islam, you are not allowed to listen to music. It's in the Quran and just full stop. End so, of the day, end of the day, your parents, they will take you back. They won't say no, but you got to convince them that, look, I will, I will try my hardest to not stop, stop listening to music now and prove it to them. Show them before, look, I've deleted all my music or your iPod or whatever it is. So look, I've deleted all my music and put like Quran verses on that. They'll make them so much happy and they'll want you and it's to not about them. making them happy yeah, it's, it's about, about yourself. you like, want to do it because do it for yourself from like they're just trying to help you and at the end of the day like i know it might seem crazy to you at that moment but honestly if they've come to a point where they would want to kick you out because of that then by all means it's a warning sign yeah. and you need to like work on it asap basically. end of the day we all have to answer to Allah on the day gentlemen so everyone needs to do it for themselves we're not targeting you everyone including us everyone everyone here every muslim here we we need to everyone watching as well you need to stop listening to music and try to avoid it as much as you can so i hope this ad uh, video helps you in any sort Shall of form well. inshallah we can help everyone yeah, inshallah we can all benefit from this and help each other. We can look back at this video and remind ourselves that we should not listen to music. If you know a person out there who does listen to music and need to obviously decrease it or need to get some guidance back into the straight path, inshallah, inshallah. then by all means, show them this video or forward this video to them because we can all Hasht be there to help each other, inshallah. Hashtag Muslims help Muslims. Yes, I feel like, yeah, there's going to be another video on that. Okay, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys in the next one.